So this is Christine, and uh, this is the first time she's ever been in this car. Um, you have uh, been in other cars. I have. And what do you normally drive, Christine? I normally drive a Chevy 2013 Chevrolet Tahoe. Okay, good. Uh, kind of an SUV? An SUV, Okay, correct. good. All right, so now that you were able to locate your seat controls, it's where it's supposed to be. Um, is this where you want it? Now there's an adjustment underneath. It's a manual adjustment if you want to adjust the positioning of your steering wheel. This feels good. Okay. I can see over it, this feels good. Okay, good. Now, next test. How do you get this thing going? Well, the first thing you have to do is like open the garage door so I don't drive through the Well, door. yeah, we'll do that, but Just I want to see if you door. can actually get this going. Well, don't I, need, I, I don't have a fob. No, no, I should have probably had the fob, but that's okay. okay. My phone have, is in it. I think we're... I don't uh, have the fob, but you have a phone. So obviously the phone... I think we're hooked up on the phone, maybe. Volume, okay, it's probably the radio. Um, so that's probably cruise control or something. This is probably the radio. So I'm looking for the ignition, but there's no ignition here. So maybe it's this. What does that say? I was right. Hey, Power look at start. that. <laughs> How about that? And so put like, your foot on the brake. I'll the brake. tell you that. Yeah, oh, and then push. And why do we put the foot on the brake all the time? Um, it's something with the car. It wants to know that you're in a human rather than something just touching Got the it. power, okay. I'm guessing. So foot's on the brake. Uh-huh. Hit power. Uh-huh. Where, where it should be, which is interesting. That yeah. was, that's all, so far it's been very intuitive. Okay, good. Ford. Good. Yeah. So Ford should be happy right now. All right. Now what's that say? It says no key detected. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I'm going to go get the fob. Just sit tight. <laughs> Yep. Uh, lock, lock. Yeah, it's a an lock. RF fob, so uh, you don't just has to be in the car. So okay, try that anywhere. brake thing again. Okay. And then uh -huh. hit the power button. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So, um, do you have any questions uh, about the car? Uh, figuring this is the very first time you've ever seen one. Um, questions, just some observations. Okay. I like the fact that the digital display is directly in front of me. Okay. The size is good. Yes. I think if it expanded beyond, it would, it would not, the, the wheel would interfere with it. Okay. Um, so I think the digital display is really good. I can see above it. Right. Which is nice. Um, this display is nice. It's not so overwhelmingly um, visual. Okay. It's a nice basic visual. Okay. Which for someone like me, who's used to driving regular standard cars, is important. Okay. With not a lot of add-ons. All right. So something like this, like, would, might take some getting used to for a consumer that doesn't drive this type of vehicle. But this functionality right here is really cool. Okay. It's easy to it's easy to look at. Okay. Relative to driving, I see volume controls. I see. Cruise controls, maybe? I'm not sure what these yes, are. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I see lights. Yeah, that's your blinkers. Blinkers. Uh -huh. And I see windshield wipers. Correct. That is right. And I have to see an accelerator. I don't yep. see a parking brake. Do they have parking brakes? Uh, not in this car. Okay. It's ele electronic. Okay. okay. I see park, reverse, neutral drive. Right. So this is something I imagine I'd have to engage. Uh, you will when we get moving. Right. Right. And then how about over the controls on the left side of the car? I see mirrors. I see a mirror control. Okay. I see a locking mechanism. Okay. I see a mirror control. And I'm not... Locking mechanisms? Uh, windows. Windows. Windows and mm. window motion. Uh, yeah, the mirror, mirror, mirror controls. Mirror controls. Uh -huh. Right, mirror controls. Correct. And windows. There we go. Mirror That's controls right. and windows. Right. Oh, I see airbags. I see a standard rearview mirror. Yep. Airbags there. It, why does it, it doesn't seem as complicated as the other one I drove. Why is that? Well, is because it, it's, um, in my opinion, uh, it's uh, modeled after the 50-year-old car. Every 50-year-old okay. car has essentially the same positioning of things, okay. vents and speedometer and window control, stuff like that. So it's really familiar to you coming from a fossil fuel car. 
Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. And uh, I guess that's the design uh, goal uh, of Ford to make it um, enough retro. Oh, I said Ford. Uh, when you say Ford, the uh, car hears you and wants a command. So oh. you go, hey, Ford. I think that's what you say. Hello, Ford. There it is. So it's got some voice control. Please try again. So we'll shut her up for a second. All right. Well, let's um, uh, let me get the the garage door open. Otherwise, uh, we'll never get out of here. So give me a second. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me explain. Um, this car has uh, configured in one pedal driving. You remember what that is? Where you accelerate with the accelerator, and then when you let your foot off the accelerator, the car will slow down and stop. Okay. Um, and of course, it has a brake like every car, um, but uh, you can actually drive it with just your accelerator pedal. Okay. 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 So uh, you'll need to um, go ahead and shift now using the uh, shifter here to drive, D. Oh, does it? Just rotate. Oh, got it. Just rotate it. Uh -huh. I was doing it the other way. Keep going. Yeah, there's There two. you go. L is for... Uh, that's a, a high regenerative mode, uh, but generally it's not used uh, when you drive it. I don't it. understand what that means. This is a legacy thing. Okay. So um, they tried to make it uh, fit in the new electric car, but the electric car doesn't really have anything since uh, past D. So ah, they okay. used the button that's in this thing that they pay for on all their other cars, and they had to name it something, so... It's L, and uh, it has to do with additional regeregeneration when okay. you drive it. Okay. Okay. But when, generally, you don't need to do anything. When would you anything. ever engage that? Uh, good question. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm not sure. I ask lots of questions. Anyway. That's good. All right, so um, now that you're in drive, you're uh, ready to roll. Uh, you can accelerate very slightly and. Um, I'm put off the brake first. Yeah, that. that'd probably be a good okay. idea. We won't go anywhere uh, it, it, because the one pedal driving will um, uh, do do its thing. So just keep going straight and then you can turn there. All right. Well, let's take it up to Columbus and then we'll come down uh, 26. Okay. Get you out on the highway okay. and uh, see how it goes. What's the speed limit here? Oh, it's 45, oh. but I don't know what they're doing up here. It looks like they're doing some uh, plumbing up here. Oh, just a little. Oh, someone's house is for sale. Okay, looking at a house. There oh, go. so just up I'm in just the road. Yeah, there we go. Just thanks, guys. Yeah, that's it. Yahoo! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, We're in the yeah, country. Yeah, we are in the country. Oh no, the lower left button. Lower left button. Yeah, I got it. And then you can do your thing. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now, see, that was easy for me when I was driving. Yeah. Previously, when I was driving, I had to do that myself. sure they're watching so you can tell them hi ford good job <laughs> so far so good it was my birthday yesterday so thank it, you it was yes! happy birthday thank holy you. crap well, like oh so is, is a new tesla does it have a ribbon around it yeah. does it say happy birthday christine oh shoot I, if thank i would have known i'd have put you. a ribbon on Big this ribbon. for you thank you christine yeah happy birthday that's it Rock on. It's really, the back support's great the that's lumbar's it? good lumbar's okay. good lumbar's good. really good good lumbar's really good Rear view is good, side view is good, the size feels good. Dashboard How about the height off good. the ground? Do you like the higher it's, because of its yes. SUV-ish, right? I, I like the height off the ground. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Makes sense. It feels very familiar. I always enjoy driving my truck for that reason because you have good visibility yes. uh, sitting up high. Now the windshield seems different than the other Tesla I drove. Well, this is not a Tesla, so. Oh, that's okay. 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 Yeah, so this right. is a, it's the, a I Ford. Keep Tesla. Uh, you're well, clear think, on the right. If, I think if Ford did a. I think Ford did a really nice. You're good on the right if you go. I think Ford did a really nice job with this. I really do. The handling is beautiful. Cool. I mean, the handling is lovely. Is this out in is this out in production? It now? is in is production. This, is this beta uh -huh. testing? No, no. This, this is, is uh, this yeah. car is a first edition Mustang Mach E, all electric. It's got uh, 270 miles of range. 
you charge it at home. And how long does it take to fully charge? Oh, it depends. Uh, if you're charging at home, about four or five hours, depending upon where you start charging. Sure, where you start charging from. Right, if it's sure. almost empty, then it'll take five, six hours probably. But if okay. it's, uh, you know, maybe you've driven it for a couple hundred miles, it take probably four hours or so, depending okay. upon uh, the charger you have. This is a really tight drive. Yep. And this is a really tight feel to it. Yeah, it feels, yeah. Like a sport. it feels like a sports car. Well, it is a Mustang after all, it, right? It feels, it feels really, it almost, I'm sorry Ford, I'm going to say this. <laughs> it almost feels British in its handling. Does it? Yeah, it really and, does. And what experience do you have with British MGs. cars? MGs. MGs, okay. My dad had, was an MG guy. All right. So it feels, it feels very nimble. Okay. That's the word I'm searching for is nimble. Right. It feels very nimble. Well, next week, uh, we're going to see how nimble it is. Uh, we're taking it uh, out in an autocross. Oh, up. fantastic. Yeah. And uh, normally, I run my Performance Model 3. And I've uh, decided to uh, go uh, this month and take the Mach-E. Now, the Mach-E doesn't have any special tires. It's going to have just the stock tires. Okay. They'll probably squeal like a little girl going around the <laughs> corners, but that's okay. I want to see how the handling is and those kinds of things. So where's the event? Uh, it's at the Ag Center in Asheville. Oh, up in West Buster Shore. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, we go up there um, once a month. Typically, the uh, car club has a autocross event there. Oh, fantastic. So we're going to take the Mustang up there and it uh, should be interesting. Like I say, it uh, may handle uh, really well, but the tires, I think, will probably be its limiting factor. Why is that? Just um, typically in an autocross, you want really kind of sticky summer tires where uh, the rating of the rubber is like 200, right? Which makes okay. them more gummier makes because gummier, you want them to stick to, to the, the road, pavement. To the, got it, got it, got These it, tires, got I think, are Understood. 400 rated. They're harder rubber. So what about conditions like ice or rain? Or uh, good question. Uh, I've driven it in cold weather, mm -hmm. uh, some wind, uh, mm -hmm. rain. I had a whole day of rain in this coming from Nashville. Did well. I mean, the tires on it hold up really well under environmental stuff. Mm -hmm. But in sharp turns and mm -hmm. autocross would maybe be a little different, right? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. But if uh, I do want to make it more serious, I can buy a whole new set of tires for it and wheels that uh, are stickier that uh, provide that rubber 200 series okay. rubber. But we'll see, because that's quite an investment. I've already invested in my autocross car, so I, I should be pretty good in that respect. This is a comfortable drive. Are you getting hang of the uh, one pedal driving? Are I you? am. The first, you know, the first time you experience the one pedal driving. Yes. I, I psychologically, it's, it's emotionally and psychologically, it's like an oh my god, what am I doing? I took my foot to the accelerator. The car's slowing down. Is there something wrong with the car? Right. Right. So no, this is. It's, it takes a while to, to you know, and also the perception of like the distance. To, the stopping distance, right? Sure. From here, the stop sign, when do I take my foot off the paddle? Yeah. It's just like learning how to drive all over again, right. in a manner of speaking. Yeah, absolutely. And this, this slows down nicely. Do you like that? It's the region, uh, single like pedal it. driving is really great. I like it. If you're yeah, coming sure. up to the stop, you right? can just exactly. adjust your speed until exactly. you get exactly where you want, right? And then you know exactly what you have to do. Yep. And, and it'll actually there. come to a complete stop. Uh, and then uh, you just accelerate again. Yeah, one pedal driving is uh, probably the best experience, really you know. Spoil you. Yeah, it does. Steering wheel is nice, good size steering wheel. Yeah. It's really comfortable. I like the thickness of it. And you feel like you have something substantial. Sure. Which is nice. I know this is all ridiculous comments, aren't they? Do people actually care about the thickness of the steering wheel? Oh, sure. Uh, you know, everybody has their... Per no, we'll go left here. Oh, okay. It feels good to me. Oh, left. left. Yeah, your, yeah. your other left. Oh, that's right. You feel... I mean, I like the thickness. It feels good. Yeah. And see, you haven't used the brake yet, have you? <laughs> I think what happened last time with my first experience in a vehicle like this... Well, it... it like I told you before, well, it, it just, takes 10 or 15 minutes just to get your brain hooked God, up. But that was just it. Yeah. And of course, you know, that... I, 
didn't have my license with me last time, but now I do, so I'll feel, feel a little better about that too. So there we go. I was a little anxious about that. And I also have a tendency to, much like when I when I ride my horse, overthink. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, I think life, that's you know? the case, right? But now, if I just stop and well, not overthink what I'm driving and just drive. Right. So far, so good. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It handles really well. That's nice. Now, how long was this in production? Uh, I think they worked on it for four years. Okay. They came out first part of 2021. I think they became okay. available maybe late part of 2020. I, I don't, not sure. I haven't read a lot about Ford's experience in the electric car market. Well, it's kind of an interesting. Or? It's an interesting um, story. What I know of it. Um, they've uh, built a what's called a compliance car uh, so that they can sell their fossil fuel cars in the 11 ZEV states okay. uh, and they made an all-electric focus okay. and uh, as soon as they didn't have to do that anymore I don't think they're available anymore and that was probably been 10 years ago now so after that, they haven't built anything electric, um, okay. in my knowledge. And um, hey, you're good now. I just wanted this. I thought. Oh, I didn't see that I guy. Trust yeah. these circles. Like, uh, you can't I really trust, trust them. And signals. They don't use signals no. in North Carolina. I know. So there we go. You know, it's uh, lack of blinker fluid. Lack of blinker. Yes, absolutely. Lack of blinker fluid. But um, the. Um, electric experience for Ford is I think as a result of Tesla's uh, acceptance of all their cars and it's pushed all of the legacy auto into doing some form of electric some of uh, uh, we'll get on the freeway here going south uh, some of the um, uh, automakers have embraced it and oh, some cool. have not okay. Now that this, was great this, acceleration. This is, a, this is a Mustang. Put your foot in it. Well, Come on, girl. There you go. That's what I'm Holy. talking about. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Was someone listening to my language? I apologize. Sorry, right. We'll beep it out. Thank you. Beep it out. <laughs> oh, my God. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh. You like electric acceleration? This is nice. See, there's no downshifting, no noise, no, no, no noise. bunch it's of quiet. crap. You just go, you right? just go. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I can't believe the acceleration. Yeah. It's so quiet. It's pretty quiet. Oh, this is lovely. I could get into so much trouble. <laughs> And why do you why do you say that? Because you don't know what speed you're going no, from the noise. Because, no, because it makes me feel like I actually want to drive a car. I see. I mean, you feel like you want to have fun in this car. Right. This isn't just a way to get from point A to point B. Right. It's a way to have fun in a vehicle. Right. That's what excites me about this experience. Sure. It's like, oh my God, this could really be fun. I could probably get lots of speed. I'm, never had a speed ticket in my life, but this car would probably make me want to get a speeding ticket. I get you ticket. one of those? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go tell that judge, you got to drive it. You'll understand why I got the speeding ticket. <laughs> no, it makes you want to have fun. There's fun built into this car. And I think that's important. Yeah, absolutely. For, this, for the experience. Well, coming off of a, uh, a legacy fossil fuel car, mm. um, it's a big difference in the way it drives, as you can tell, right? It's smooth. If you floored your Tahoe, what does it do? <coughs> it wouldn't do. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be fun. It'd be right. heavy. Right. It'd it's be just a heavy, heavy, clunky way of moving forward. Right. No, this is seamless. This is really smooth. Right. So now put your foot in it. Go. You didn't put it all the way down. Come on. Down, well, you don't have to go 900 oh. miles an hour, but see how that is? Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that it's addicting? So, yeah, that's what I need by fun. It is addicting. <laughs> very dry. I, want, you know, I want to take this out to the Laguna Seca track. Yeah. No, this is really very fun. Give how responsive it is. Yeah, the best thing of electric motor is you get maximum torque at no RPM. There's no yeah, spooling up right. of the engine or downshifting of the transmission or 
You just drive. You just, just go. Just like lay back and drive. That's correct. It doesn't matter what kind of EV you're driving, but it's very similar feel um, when you punch it. It just goes. Some go faster, some go slower, but it's over a fossil fuel car. I find it to be just amazing. It's a whole, di it's a whole different. It's a whole different feel. You feel. You feel like you're you're off the ground flying. Like yeah. I don't feel like I'm on the pavement. Yeah. Um, so do you think it's less noisy in the car? Definitely. Do you? Definitely. You got one mile to get in front of this guy. Is that all you got? How much money do you have for speed? That's good. <laughs> Rusty might be down here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, you know him, so there's there's a cost. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is really. It'd be interesting interesting for me to see how it handles. Yeah. I mean, I imagine this truck is like, sorry, buddy. You can't be doing 70. Your truck. I can do 70. You can. Yeah. No, it's it really is a fun vehicle. So what is the, I know car manufacturers tend to have a certain demographic in mind when they produce vehicles. What was this car built for? If I'm looking at demographic, was there a specific demographic they were targeting? I think they're looking for people that want an electric car. Generally. Right? Okay. I'm guessing, okay. right? Okay. And uh, f this is Ford's first electric car. Uh, they left claim right, they're... Right. We'll go left here. Okay. Um, they claim that um, they're coming out with a uh, electric version of their F-150. And I'm not sure when it'll actually hit the stores, but that's what they claim. And uh, uh, I know they'll probably will, but we won't see it until uh, it hits the store. And I'm not sure when it's predicted. I haven't really followed it a lot. And there's its big brother, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. You know, the fact is, I think this is faster than the uh, Mustang GT. I would believe it. And this is, uh, they're coming out with a GT version of the Mach-E here, so um, it'll even be faster than this one. I've measured this one to about five and a half seconds, zero to 60, which yep. is uh, way faster than uh, all the stock cars they're currently selling. Mm. No, this is, this is a great, this is a great drive. So, what is your um, final overall thoughts of this car? All Ford has to do is reconfigure the seat. I, I can't hear I'm you. Sorry, all, so Ford, good. all Ford has to do is reconfigure the seat. Okay. That's it. That's all it. Right. Everything else. Is, everything else. Everything you'd else like. is spot on. Okay. From my from my perspective. Of course. Everything is spot on. Sure. The visuals are great. There's not a lot of mess on the dashboard. There, it's it's clear. The visuals are clear. The dashboard is clear. The rear view mirror is good. The side mirrors are good. It's just that base. Just this. Make it longer. Yep. And that's it. Everything else is really now. Obviously, I haven't fooled with the radio or the sound system, oh, sure. so I can't speak to that functionality. But from a purely driver experience, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. good. And I'm not even 18. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, yeah. right. Exactly. It's a lot that's of fun. Right. Christine, thank you. Uh, I'm happy you were able to drive it. And, thank uh, you for thank the opportunity. This was a terrific birthday present. Hey, thank well, you. happy birthday belated by yes. one day. Yay. That's it. And uh, we'll get you in another car next time we get something, okay? I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay. <laughs>